was everything I made for my Sunday feast. First, I got started by soaking my lotus leaves. My plan for these was to use them for my Chinese style barbecue sea bass. But first I had to create a marinade for my fish, which was Shaoxing soy sauce, oyster sauce, a little bit of sugar, and a whole lot of love. And as that fish soaked up all that flavor, I got started on the filling for my jowzi. This filling is very straightforward. It's pretty much just brune wa ginger, some sliced Chinese chives, ground chicken, and then of course, oyster sauce, soy sauce, and then a little bit of sesame oil. And then after generously mixing that, I got started on folding my dumplings. I made as many as I could with the filling that I had, and I ended up making 21, which really irked me because that is an odd number. After all my dumplings were folded, I placed my fish in my lotus leaves. I wrapped it up nice and tight, and then I placed it on my grill. I did add some smoking chips on the bottom of my grill because I did want some of that smoky flavor. As that cooked, I prepped all of my veg for my garlic honey noodles, which included cabbage, ginger, Chinese chives, and garlic, lots of it. And then after sauteing some saucy chicken, I added that cabbage mixture and mixed it up. Then I got started on my mochi butter cake. After mixing my wet and dry ingredients together, I placed that up in a cake pan and then I baked it off. And then as that baked, I got started on my Chinese smashed cucumber salad. I placed that in the fridge and then I cooked off those dumplings. I went with the pan fry then steam method, which always gives me a heart attack. As those cooked, I cooked my noodles and then I topped them off with that cabbage chicken mixture and then some sauce. I also made a charred scallion oil to serve with my fish and that was it. Just kidding because I topped off that mochi cake with some coconut ice cream and some toasted coconut flakes.